Joachim Salzberg and I uh, went with the support of the Human Rights Lab to Northern Ireland. We were interested in looking at community-based initiatives that were playing a role, a constructive role in peace building with a theoretical interest in groups and memory. Belfast is, is incredibly segregated where you have people who are a couple blocks away from each other that don't talk to each other. It's not a religious war, but the Catholic Protestant line are markers for the sort of uh, political differences. So over time, the segregation led to like a uh, development of distinct collective memories or representations across these two groups. We were based at uh, the Transitional Justice Institute in Belfast in Northern Ireland. The Transitional Justice Grassroots Toolkit is basically a deep dialogue approach. Uh, bring a group together and present them and introduce uh, concepts of transitional justice uh, in a way that uh, people locally in the community can understand. Space for them to come together and where these collective memories could sort of engage with each other and develop a sense of understanding. I think both Bridge of Hope, the community partner, and Transitional Justice Institute were people who were uh, embedded in and um, part of the area, the context, the country. The Human Rights Lab is, is, is so special because they're faculty from across the university. A very interdisciplinary group who bring their expertise from their particular disciplines to talk to each other and share and, and give each other feedback. Joachim is my, my advisor. I would say he gave me a lot of liberty or freedom to, to make decisions as they came. Great experience, especially uh, right at the beginning of my PhD program. I came into the PhD program thinking, oh, I want to do um, Colombia, I'm going to look at Colombia, and then he was like, oh, well, how about we have a comparative element with Northern Ireland? Um, and that's really been transformative for me to think about looking at Northern Ireland through the lens of Colombia back and forth. So one of the lines that I recalled most was one of the interviewees who said that what they gained most from participating in the toolkit was uh, realizing that they didn't have a veto over who was a victim. Um, and so even though it doesn't take away sort of the pain or the suffering that they went, but recognizing the pain and suffering on the other side was, was pretty significant.